The NBA is coming back in late July in Orlando, and the question is, who's going to be the eighth seed in the Western Conference? I'm telling you, obviously, the Memphis Grizzlies are big favorites here at minus 190. I mean, they're three and a half games ahead of Portland, New Orleans, and Sacramento, followed by the Spurs. Spurs are four games back. They're at plus 1,800, but they're not going to have LaMarcus Aldridge, so I'm kind of eliminating the Spurs, which might be a little sinful, especially since Greg Popovich is on that staff. Uh... Right? So uh, the Suns are at plus 12,000. They're six games back. They're going to have to go at least, at least 7 and 1 to really get a chance to play in that play in tournament, right? What is the play in tournament? Well, if the ninth seed is within eight games, within four games, of the eighth seed, there will be a play in tournament. The ninth seed will have to win two consecutive games. The eighth seed, only one game to be able to go to the playoffs. So that is the play in tournament. Okay, so I'm el eliminating the Suns. I'm el eliminating the Spurs. The Kings are at plus 1,200. 12, now, the Kings were playing well before the stoppage, right? Winning 7 out of 10 games. They beat Memphis twice, but Memphis was playing without Jaron Jackson. He will be back. Memphis won 8 out of their last 11 games with Jackson in the lineup, right? In games that he played. So, I mean, it, this is an up-and-coming big man. He is good. And John Morant, he's got total disregard for, for human safety, right? I mean, he will dunk on your head. He will climb on your head and dunk on you, okay? So, John Morant, man, I, I, I like his temperament. I really like his temperament. I mean, if, he, if he's got to try to dunk on LeBron James, I mean, he'll, he'll try you know, he just doesn't really care. He's, kind of, he's a honey badger type, John Moran. I really like him. But anyway, the Kings, man, defensively, they just don't inspire, they inspire too much confidence. So I'm kind of eliminating the Kings here at plus 1,200. Now, New Orleans was playing really well down the stretch. They're really talented. What a season Brandon Ingram had, right? Lonzo Ball's playing well. And Zion Williamson, man, ultra-talented kid. They won 8 out of 13 games, including two wins against the Portland Trail Blazers. Now, the Blazers were playing bad, right? They didn't have one competitive win, right? One win against a competitive team in their last 15 games before the stoppage on the 11th of March. And they only, they lost 8 out of 12 games, okay? So, um, am I worried? I'm a little worried because you know where I'm heading here, right? I'm going with Portland at plus 275 as my as my ninth seed to go into play in tournament and maybe challenge the Memphis Grizzlies. Why Portland? They're getting two really important players back. Zach Collins played three games this year. Yusuf, Yusuf Nurkic did not play this year. They are both coming back. That's some serious beef in the paint for the Portland Trail Blazers, right? And then you got Damian Lillard. I mean, he is just a killer, isn't he? C.J. McCollum. I mean, listen, the Blazers, they got to the Western Conference Finals last year. They were up in three games by at least, like, 15 points against the Golden State Warriors. So they're a little bit more experienced, and I think that's going to help them here. I really do. I think Memphis is still too young. I think New Orleans is too young. I think Sacramento, like I said, I just don't trust Sacramento. So the Blazers, man. And they also got Trevor Reese, the player I really like. You know, maybe uh, Carmelo hitting some corner threes, if you will. I'm going to go with Portland. They weren't playing well, but they're getting healthy at the right time. Man, I think they're going to go to Disney World. And I think they're going to get the eighth seed with Two dramatic wins against the Memphis Grizzlies in the play-in tournament. We shall see.